This is called O-ring. This is called metallic sleeve. This is the new retainer ring. Okay. So here the sample is already filled here. Now you have to pull this. 
then this then o-ring and the o-ring has two parts one side is totally flat and another is a little ring type so the flat part should be down Then, the first is the room temperature. Our sample is from gases uh, field in each pore, so that's why we have to do degassing. And for degassing purposes, we are using here a heater. It has a capacity of high temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. So, according to your sample, you can uh, give us the time for how many hours we have to do the degassing. If we pull the heater like this, then. The impurities or some humidity, then it will go out and it will trap here in the pore. Here we have to fill for liquid nitrogen. Okay. Ah, I'm going to be thick. Okay. The liquid nitrogen is coming. Okay. 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 Then we have to go to IQ default. Then out gassing, and then same time we can uh, do the degassing of four sample. At same one time we can do degassing of four sample. So then station one, then edit program. Then we can set the temperature maximum that we want to do the degassing at, and the soft time. Then we have to re-measure the weight for three times because on uh, for the average weight, then we will take. Then we will put it here. At that time, actually the dual was down. You know, now the experiment one experiment is going on. That's why it is up here. So then we will calculate the weight perfectly. Then we will uh, attach it here. So here we have three stations: station one, station two, and station three. In station one, we can uh, calculate both micropore, mesopore, and macroporous. So micropore, which is um, pore radius is less than two nanometer, and two to fifty is mesoporous, and more than fifty is macroporous. So in station one, we can calculate only micro, uh, on, only micropore, and mesopore, macropore. Everything will be calculated in station one. And in station two and station three, only we can calculate uh, mesoporous and micropore, and macroporous. Micropores can be calculated in station two and station three. Micropores only be calculated in station one only. So then. So this is our rod. Here, here is our sample. So we can attach these two here. This is for manifold. By using this filler rod or not using the filler rod, it is just for the quick process so that the vacuum can be made easily. <laughs> so if we will put this, then this part of the can be filled. So the vacuum can be done easily. That's why we are using this filler. You can use it, or otherwise you can't. Then there will be no problem. Then for five hours, according to the sample, then the data will come out. Get from that process. This is for isotherm graph. So this is P by P naught, and this is the volume or total amount of uh, adsorption. For the calculating a surface area, the size, the point value P by P naught ratio is zero point zero five to zero point.